What's going on guys, Ligaya Rossi here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. In the last episode, we caught ourselves a new Pokemon, Sudowoodo. I actually got like a lot of new Pokemon. Um, and we are actually on our way towards the fourth town. I, I can't pronounce the name of the town, but it's it's a ghost type town. Uh, it's, it's, it's the town with the gym leader that's a ghost type. So before I get on with the video, if you if you guys like to see more, please subscribe and click the bell notification, the bell icon, so you can get notified when I upload a video. I feel like I have to say that in the beginning of the video because no one is watching all the way towards the end, and I understand because I make almost hour-long videos. Anyways, uh, we are forced to fight this guy, so let's go ahead and fight him. Pokemon can't do a thing if they are asleep. Yeah, I'll show you how scary it is. Yeah, it's pretty scary. It is really annoying too. Drowsy. Are you serious, dude? It uses disable to disable my disable. Oh my god. Anyway. Hypnosis. So yeah, this Psychic only has one Pokemon. It's gonna keep using Disable because he thinks I'm gonna do something. It's probably gonna disable my Quick Attack. Dream Eater. Alright, so Dream Eater is only a move that can be used when the Pokemon is asleep. Um, the opposing Pokemon, that is. I lost, that's pretty sad. Yeah. Anyway, what's Route 36? Alright, so we also met Vulpix in the last episode, um, but we are at night. Actually, let's go ahead and headbutt this tree. I want to just headbutt the trees so I can figure out. Okay, nothing, so. Alright, so what are we doing here now? What's this town called? Uh, okay. E Critique City. Um, a historical city where the past meets the present. We can also meet a house of Eevees. Uh, giant right on oh my god We could fight all these people I don't have a fire type a uh, water type A kimono girl Sayo Ah, I want Espeon, actually. So, Espeon's the, one of the new um, evolutions. It is a psychic type Pokemon. Use this tail whip. I'm gonna use some of my other Pokemon to kind of defeat it. Oh snap, uh, let's use Thunder Wave. Oh, I use Confusion. Espeon's actually my favorite evolution Pokemon. Uh, 
God, this, that does so much damage. I don't have... Wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any... Uh, what do you call it? <laughs> potions. I should have bought some potions. Because <laughs> Flappy is now dead. Uh, let's use Togepi. Oh, so close. I almost had you. Rhythm is important for both dancing and Pokemon. I'm going to. Uh, the Kimono Girls are so beautiful, but they have to go through rigorous training and they have to learn to follow customs before appearing in public. But if you love something, anything is possible. That is true. Let's see what this old man has to say. Not only are the Kimono, kimono Girls great dancers, they're also skilled at Pokemon. I always challenge them, but I've never even left a scratch. Lad, if you can defeat all the Komodo Girls, I'll give you a gift. I've defeated one of them, so. That man's always with his right on. Says he wants a Pokemon that can surf and dance. Is he trying to make a synchronized swimming Pokemon? I'm gonna go ahead and heal really quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we meet Bill. With the past. But you can't send anything that exists in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. So, you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. Put simply, send, no sending new moves or new Pokemon. Oh, okay. So basically, uh, what Bill was saying is that you can trade Pokemon between all of Gen 1 and all of Gen 2, but no new Pokemon and no, new, no old Pokemon with new moves. So, that is a possibility to trade Pokemon between the games. So for example, if I wanted an Eevee and I wanted it I wanted the Eevee in Gen 2, I can go ahead and put it in uh, Gen 2. Roll out, attract. I I don't want roll out to be honest. I mean, yeah, it's it's it could be good, but I'm stuck using that move. I'm stuck using that move for five turns, so. The two towers, two Pokemon. But when one burned down, both Pokemon fled away, never to return. The tin tower up ahead was built as a roost for flying Pokemon. Okay, so I have to fight Ecritique City Gym so I can get the, the thing. And here's the uh, burn tower. Oh, hi. <sighs> Alright, so we're fighting our trainer, our rival, again. 
he sends out his haunter. So for the time being, I'm using Kadabra. I thought about having Kadabra as my final team member. No. Confusion was reduced to three. I could still use it though, so. Thunder Wave so I can paralyze it. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, now I can go first. I need a better Thunder move though, because Thunder Shock is starting to be too weak. If I could at least learn Thunder Bolt, that would actually be really good. Or even Spark Tackle. Alright, Magnemite. Uh, let's go Lava. Zubat. Who can I use for Zubat? I'll always use Flaffy again. This is why I hate battling wimps. But yet you keep losing to me, so uh whatever. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. So fighting him was actually pretty optional, but this happened when I was young. The sky suddenly turned black. A giant flying Pokemon was blocking out the sun. I wonder what that Pokemon was. Dragon and a bird. Uh... Just talk to you. Oh, you're on an adventure with your Pokemon? Well, what, what's an adventure without treasure hunting? Am I right or am I right? Good, you understand the true spirit of adventure. I like that. Take this with you. We have an item finder. So basically, we can just find invisible items. I'm sure there are, but I'm not going to go there, so. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and heal again. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Let's go ahead and uh, let's actually go call our mom. Yes, let's keep on saving. All right. I still have to get a water Pokemon. 
But also, these kimono dancers are, um... Because there was only, like, three colors, like, green, blue, and red. S I don't even know what Pokemon they're carrying. A Flareon. It has Ember. Okay, so there's six of them. Or rather, five of them. One is bound to have a uh, Espeon and Umbreon. Oh, that's right. Alright, so I don't have a fighting type Pokemon. Because fighting types are weak to, um... Wait, I can't switch Pokemon? Oh my goodness, wow, it would let me, like... That's weird, it would not let me switch my Pokemon right away. Okay. Wait. It didn't use, um... Okay. Oh my god. Alright, let's see something. Can I... What? That is so weird. It would not let me switch to Togepi. Umbra has pretty high defense, wow. Or is it because, like, I defeated Flareon with two Confusions? Confusion's pretty good early on. Psychic is an even better attack, though. Alright. Oh, you're a cute trainer. Would you like to battle? Of course I'd like to battle. Vaporeon. What, is that old man gonna give me an Eevee? Oh yeah, that's right. Like, Vaporeon has like the most HP out of all of them. Oh my god. You're stronger than you look. Alright, so last but not least. Kimono Girl holding a Jolteon.
Mud Slap's just a sand attack, but dark. Talk to this old man here. HM3, was it Surf? Talk to you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and heal up again. I'll be right back. Alright, so I just remembered um, to get an Eevee, you do have to go meet Bill back in Golden Rod City. So I am going to meet you guys over there. Alright guys, made it back to Goldenrod. Now I just gotta find where Bill's house is at. Cause he has an Eevee for us to catch. Or he has an Eevee for us. Hi the guy, do do us a favor and take this Eevee. I came over here when I was adjusting the time capsule. Someone has to take care of it, but I don't like being outside. Can you I can I count on you to play with it, the guy? Yes. You're a real deal, dude. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to give it a nickname. Alright, so our EV is level 20. Tackle. Okay, well, it's got some pretty bad moves, but I am going to raise it and evolve it into a um, Espeon, because I want an Espeon. Let's actually go over here, see what I can get. I gotta buy some more Pokeballs anyway. And we also have the HM Surf, but I don't have any water Pokemon, so. No one can learn it. Anyways, I will meet you back at Ecrutique City. So, yeah, I'll meet you guys back over there. Alright guys, I'm back. I decided to take a little detour. <clears throat> Did you clear that wretched tree? I'm impressed. I want you to have this. So TM08, we get Rock Smash. Anyways, I, I, I'm actually going to go ahead and make my way back to uh, Cherry Grove. Because... I made a random call to Professor Elm, and he wants to see my uh, my hatched egg, so to speak. So let's go ahead and go there. I do want to talk to Youngster Joey though, because I'm pretty sure he'll want a uh, a rematch, but he's going to lose because of my Pokemon. Let's 
go ahead and talk to him. I think he's over here. I was waiting for you. Let's battle. He's gonna lose. Oh, a level 15 Radito. Wow. I'm impressed. Oh, snap. Oh, okay, good. I was about to say. Okay. <clears throat> I think I am already in Cherry Grove. I think this is Cherry Grove. Yes, I am in Cherry Grove City. Let's go ahead and go to... I don't even remember the name of the town it's called. It is so weird, like... I have a bike that I can use. There we go. Was Newbark City? Newbark Town. Let's talk to you. An Everstone. Okay, cool, so... Alright, so now we've gotten an Everstone. Let us... I'll, I will meet you guys back at uh, Eat Critique City, because I do want to go through the Burn Tower. So I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, made it back to Eat Critique City. I'm going to get my Soda Widow, because... Make a Rage... Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get my Pseudo Widow. So I'm putting my Beedrill inside the... Cause I'm gonna need Pseudo Widow for Rock Smash. So Rock Smash is not really a great move to use in battle, but it can be used outside of battle, which is what we want to do anyway. Excuse me. Let us go ahead and go inside this tower. Don't embarrass me by looking for oh. Fire Breather, Fire Breather Dick. You have a Charmeleon. Let me just body with my Eevee really quick. Oh my god, he got burned. Taking a drink of my Mountain Dew. <clears throat> Let me actually switch. Because I don't want my Eevee to die and then be unhappy. <laughs> 
There we go. Okay, so he was red, now he's turned white. We can also meet Pokemon here. Zubat. Wait, I have a burn heal, don't I? Everstone. I'm gonna go ahead and heal, so I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I kind of froze for a bit, but... I uh, actually did some off-screen grinding. I got my Eevee up to level 29, quit level up to 28. Kadabra I'm keeping there because I'm not going to keep Kadabra. My Flappy is at level 24 and my Togepi evolved into Togetic at level 20. So Let's go ahead and go through the Burn Tower. So for the most part, I'm going to, like, I'm going to use Eevee. Alright, so we can meet Raditas here. Alright, there we go. So, the reason why I have my Eevee... My Eevee is actually supposed to evolve right now, but because I uh, I am waiting for it to be sunlight for me to evolve this Eevee. Raikou, Entei, Suicune. So now we have just activated the... Uh, the legendary dogs and they all appear at level 40 whenever you find them but they also roam around the entire map so like the, like the entire Johto region they, they roam around there so anyway let's go ahead and go through the tower because I want to see what else I can find here fight this fire breather here my soul is on fire I'll show you how hot it burns sounds like you love someone to be honest oh no am I gonna wash the red out of this guy too So it learned quick attack also and getting grinding was really hard. Cause there was actually a video that I kind of followed and it told me to just like walk up and down from the entrance out of Golden Rod City into the grassy, the grassy patch that leads into Golden Rod. And I'm like, okay, that's really long and tedious. It's 57 steps. I ended up doing it anyways because I wanted to increase my Eevee's happiness, so... I also gave my Eevee the Everstone so that it would, it, that way it won't evolve. Trying to learn bite at level 30. Oh, yes, nice. I'm getting rid of sand attack. Alright, there we go. Just 
still not hot enough. Kind of just wanted to see what's in this area. Burn heal. Alright, let's fall down through this hole. Oh, I don't have strength. I can't get it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd get that Pokeball. Alright. Let's go fall down through the other hole. If I can stop getting random encounters. Alright, there we have it. And also, I have the Dark type move because I think it's actually going to help us for this gym. Alright. Let's fall down through this hole. Let's get this Pokeball here. And we got an HP up. Now we can leave. I'm gonna give this HP up to Eevee actually. There we go. I wish it had like other moves that I can teach it cause like, like TMs, I mean like I wish I had the TMs. Also, I still don't have a water type Pokemon, and I just got Surf, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and end the episode here. In the next episode, we'll go ahead and take care of uh, what's this, that guy's face, but the the gym leader for this city that I'm in. Anyways, the guy Ross for signing out. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more, click that subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload videos. Until then, see you later.